Gushing floodwaters at a dam on the corner of Elmwood Place and Stone Street in the town of Cheryl left a gaping hole several feet deep in a neighbor's backyard. As the water was flowing down, it actually breached around this side of the elevation dam and started to erode this entire bank and then took some trees down with it and then took some of these foundation stones. Floodwaters also tore through Dixon's mobile manor in Oneida Castle, which fire officials say had up to eight feet of water. Neighbors say this is the second time in two years their homes have flooded. The first time, it happened two years ago, and it only went to the bottom of the this, this steps to the deck. This time, it's probably covered the decks. The city of Oneida estimates 250 homes and businesses were flooded after two levees broke just before 9 this morning. Even though the water has begun to recede here on Linden Street in the city of Oneida, officials say it could take as long as a week for all of the water to completely go down. People nearby watched as rescue boats helped neighbors out of their homes. It was really sad watching the kids get off with their backpacks of belongings and their stuff. And, um, you know, there are people going back for their animals and they had like little puppies in cages. And it was really sad. It breaks your heart. I seen, um, a lot of people coming up on the fan boats from the beach they brought up, rescuing people out of their homes, dogs, cats, walking with just bags, they have nowhere to go. Displaced from their homes until floodwaters recede and neighbors can begin drying things out and cleaning up the damage. Reporting from Oneida, I'm Katie Corrado.